Hello and welcome to The Football Show. Did you know it's three years to the day since Chelsea sacked Jose Mourinho? Last time we checked, he's still in place at Man United despite that terrible 3-1 defeat to Liverpool. However, all is not lost. Mourinho just needs to get the players into the video room today and show them how to defend, just like Bally Chamlin. Right, let's really get into how bad this was for United. A couple of stats for you, Marcus. Man United completed 65% of their passes. Pep Guardiola was probably fainting watching it. <laughs> Liverpool had 36 shots. 36 in one game. Yeah, I mean, that is a complete and utter shambles. I mean, actually quite, if you set out before the game to have a shot every three minutes in some form of training drill, it'd be practically impossible to do that. It was diabolical. I mean, Mourinho set his team up to contain Liverpool, keep it tight. 36 shots. Yeah, yeah. Do you know That's... what this reminded me of, this United performance? You know that classic United tweet in the Moyes era? David Moyes says Manchester United need to improve in a number of areas, including defending, creating chances and passing. This was it, again. They couldn't defend, even though they tried to. No. They created nothing in attack. And as Gary Neville pointed out in the quite pointed uh, moment on Sky Sports after the game, they couldn't pass either. I mean, just look at that performance. <laughs> United in midfield, I can't go over United central midfield. I mean, if you're Paul Pogba watching Matic, Herrera, Fellaini, Fred play the other night, not one of them can pass a football. Not one of them can actually receive the ball. And pass the ball, they can't take the ball. And I, I just find it absolutely staggering. I thought United were awful, to be honest with you today. I thought they were awful. The worrying thing is, is there's been zero to no improvement since Mourinho got there, from when he got there to now, and the amount of money he spent. He spent roughly £375 million, and at the moment, the only player that he appears to kind of like have time for is Matic. So it's basically Louis van Gaal's team plus Matic at the moment. And it was very much a Louis van Gaal terrible era performance. United were awful in possession, offered little going forward. At least under Van Gaal, they were defensively sound-ish. Mourinho's meant to be a defensive coach. Or he doesn't like being called that, but that's what he's known for. United can no longer defend. And if we're talking about the way they've used their resources, I don't hold Mourinho entirely responsible for that, or, or solely responsible. I mean, you look at kind of the role of Ed Woodward and the Glazers, and they should have put so much more money into United than even they have with 375 million quid. But at the heart of it, the issue is mismanagement. And I think the best thing that summed that up was Paul Pogba. Oh, okay? yeah. Club record signing. Mm -hmm. He's just won the World Cup France. He scored in the World Cup final. They're losing 3 1. He sat on the bench. He doesn't bring him on. No. Paul Pogba is sat on the bench for 90 minutes. And Pogba is not faultless in all this. You know, we know about he's had problems with his attitude and, and his performances have been shocking. But at the heart of it, if you are a manager and you've got a player of Pogba's ability, you're losing to Liverpool. You can't string three passes together. Why is he sat on the bench for 90 minutes? It's inexplicable. Absolutely. And also, if you buy someone for 89, 90 million or whatever, you build a team around them, regardless of their faults. You're spending that sort of money. But Pox has been asked to play in numerous positions. He, he's never really settled into a position at United. And as you say, he's not blameless, but there's no logic behind it. I think Absolutely that was zero. maybe the most damning thing actually about the whole day. The question now then is, where do Manchester United go from here? Sack him. <laughs> It's not a bad shout. I mean, let's look at the actual numbers behind this, okay? Man United have already conceded more goals this season than they did in the whole of last season. They have made their worst league start since 1990. I mean, there is no case for keeping it at this point, right? Absolutely not, no. In terms of, I think Mourinho probably uh, benefits from the, the whole aura around him. But if you put like David Moyes in this position, he's gone. Louis van Gaal, he won the FA Cup and finished fifth, was it? Gone. I mean, there is no way they improve from here. The suggestion with van Gaal and Moyes, I think, was that 
Woodward was sort of waiting till it was it was 100% clear that they wouldn't qualify for the Champions League and then he was waiting for that moment. And with Van Gaal, they couldn't quite do it because obviously they were in the FA Cup final. So it had to get to a point where it was completely untenable. But I think we've reached that point now. I mean, Mourinho at the weekend, he's not even talking about winning the league. Obviously, they're 19 points off top. He's barely even talking about finishing in the top four, which is 11 points to make up. He had this incredible quote, which was like, oh, we're going to finish in the top six, which is historically where all the best teams finish. And you just think, he's putting United on a par with Everton. I mean, this couldn't have been more David Moyes if he'd said it in Glaswegian with a haunted look on his face. It was absolutely ludicrous. Yeah, ludicrous. And especially from a man who had the gall to describe Arsene Wenger as a specialist in failure. Liverpool fans were chanting, don't sack Mourinho. It's verging into Arsene Wenger territory where he was touring the country and everyone was singing, Arsene Wenger, we want you to stay. But he has to go, doesn't he? Who can replace him? Yeah, I think that's part of the problem. I mean, at the moment out there, candidates available, and let's be real, um, the kind of manager that United need probably at the moment is a Sam Allardyce, someone to put out the fire um, of what is turning into a relegation campaign. No, in all seriousness though, there's not really much out there in terms of available high-end managers that United be after. David Moyes? <laughs> Maybe, yeah. Louis Van Gaal? Yeah, or Arsene Wenger. Um, but the thing is, you do think that if someone was available, say, of a higher calibre, a couple of years ago when Klopp was available, say for example with Liverpool when they sacked Brendan Rodgers, then Mourinho would be gone. The problem is for United, they don't really have anyone out there at the moment. Almost anyone would be a step up on what they've got at the moment though. That's, yeah, yeah, fair point. Truth be told. Edward Wood, anyone? 